Here we are. It's Thanksgiving time. <laughs> you ready? Oh, no, hide that. Come back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays have begun. Yes, oh no. <laughs> Baking and cooking and yum. My All the yummy wine. smells and togetherness. Well, wear a mask. Where did I hear that? Oh, today from our new president elect. <laughs> All I can just say to you is coronavirus task force of legitimate people. <laughs> Yay! And did, you, did you notice the diversity in the task force? Oh my God. And the expertise and just the science and God. Thrilling. Thrilling. <laughs> I wore and my like we were saying earlier like on having, the curls. That I love your shirt. We were saying earlier how it feels like we we were abandoned by a deadbeat dad, and now <laughs> grandpa loving grandpa is here. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so exciting. It is, and just everybody, hang on to your hats for the next limbo period of it what is it 72 days but i don't know who's counting it's gonna be okay it's all gonna work out yep it will yep and we're gonna do thanksgiving food this month so fun it i love holiday cooking it's just some of the best food ever i can't mm -hmm. wait to share all these things with you all and our family recipes and things we've gathered along the way and all our favorites and it's going to be great and it's a different year because you know a lot of us are going to be doing zoom thanksgiving or just mm -hmm. with a few couple people or you know yep. and so we want to sort of cater it to that too so that's why you're doing their special Apple thing Apple. tonight yeah i when um we right this time of year we should be in if you know, it was a normal year. We should be in Philly because um, my husband is a jeweler and he, he's in the Philadelphia Museum show, which is usually held in the um, uh, convention center where they're now counting votes. <laughs> wow. Thank and then, you, Philadelphia and oh, Pennsylvania. Wow. And then across from um, that convention center is the Reading Terminal, like one of my favorite places on earth to go. And it's, it's, it's like an indoor food and uh, flea market. And there's all these food booths, Italian food booths and Amish food booths. And it is so much fun. And um, one of my favorite things that I would get when I would go there is the apple dumplings at the Amish food place. Wow. So I decided to make my own. Yum. I think, I mean, I haven't had an apple dumpling in years or baked apple or anything like that. I mean, probably yeah. since the seventies. So I'm excited <laughs> to see this. Yeah. I've been baking <laughs> apples for a while, but, um, but I like doing, if, if you want to, I decided to make the dumpling because if you're just having like a couple people over and you don't want to make a whole pie, you can do this. And you can do this, you know, bake, just bake the apple, which is kind of like apple pie without the crust, or you can do the apple dumpling. And I personally like to have it in the morning at the day after with like yogurt on it. Yum. <laughs> that sounds delicious. Yeah. So to start, okay. with, I'm going to get here. Oh, well, the last time I made um, baked apples, I baked them with a little bit of um, hard cider on the bottom because I had some left over. But I'm going to make this. With, That's a great I idea. Ginger oh, apple juice. Big Bees is a company here oh, out of Albuquerque, it. and they have all the most amazing apples and apple ciders. Mm. And I love it. Fresh you know, what cider. I Yum. So I'm gonna um, cook Organic. that, cook some down with a little bit of maple syrup, and oh, where's my ginger? And I'm gonna let that like simmer for while I'm while I'm doing all this. 
Okay. And I'm gonna add a little ginger, fresh ginger to it. But it already, it already has some in there, but I'm gonna add a little more. I mean, there I you want are. to point out something, Debriana, that you've kind of taught me in this whole journey, and that is <laughs> places where I normally would use water in a lot oh, of no. different things, you put in really cool flavorful liquids like you're putting in the cider here you put yeah. in stock in other places or milk or whatever the case is you go for the gold with everything with the liquids yeah i think I'm it makes a different <laughs> but it makes a difference with the flavor you know yeah it does and just it water. Really does. Mm -hmm. and i'm gonna add a teeny bit of cinnamon to it just a sprinkle. Okie dokie. Shake. That's a teeny bit, Eggie. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> I'm only going to make um, two apples. I have a, um, and they're small. I was kind of bummed out. I went to the co-op today and I thought, oh, they'll, they always have really great apples there. And they, their apples were so puny. <laughs> I was mad. I don't know yeah. why they're puny apples. Well, but they taste good, right? Yeah, they'll be. I mean, they're organic and they'll and they're from a local. Are they farm. Granny Smith or what kind are they? Yeah, they're Granny Smith. It's probably most of the time. I think it's good to use Granny Smith because they're a little bit hardier of an apple. Yeah, you know, you don't want to use an apple that's soft. Right. So I'm just adding like, I don't know, I think it's going to be about a quarter of a teaspoon of fresh ginger to about three tablespoons of butter. That's going to be good. Yeah. And it's soft. <laughs> the butter's super soft. So just so you know. Ginger is so good. great with apples. Yeah. This is about a quarter of a teaspoon of, I use the fresh nutmeg. You do too. This is my nutmegger. It's the only way to go. Mm -hmm. The only way to go. And then I have, these are cardamom seeds. Mm. And I, um, I like to grind them up myself. So it releases is, the flavor. Yeah, it really does. It makes a huge difference. Like you don't want to use the seed pod. That's for sure. Cause nobody wants to bite into a cardamom seed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to put it in my mortar and pestle and grind it up. Okay, so I'm convinced this is Peggy, and I think she says, teeny bit shake puny. Wasn't there someone else there, puny? You need to change the pliers. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, so that was a quarter of a teaspoon. I think it ended up being with... um when it was ground up. The thing that you need to know is when you put in a quarter of a teaspoon of the seeds, it grinds up into more. Oh. So okay. if you're, something's calling for a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom powder, don't do a quarter of a teaspoon of the seeds and then grind it up because it's, it's different. Very good point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. And I have a half a teaspoon, a healthy half, of um, a healthy brown half. cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> a healthy half. <laughs> and then I have brown sugar. Now I'm only using, um, I'm only doing two apples. So I'm just going to do a tablespoon of brown sugar in here. You know what we should do in the back cover of the cookbook? On the Love inside it. flap is all the different words we have for measurement. <laughs> I'm just, I bet Peggy knows them all. <laughs> I know. We have quite a few. We do. <laughs> so I'm just going to mush this together into a paste. Okay. And this, um, this is, I want to simmer the, um, the apple juice. Or, this is apple ginger, but if you don't have apple ginger where you live, just use apple. But I would say get a good one because it really it so, makes such a huge difference to get, you know, uh, maybe a local press like this is that's so good. 
I mean, it doesn't matter if it's small as long as it's firm and it tastes good. Yeah. All right. So, you know me, how I'm going to do my nuts. <laughs> here she goes with her nuts. Yes. I'm putting them in here. And I'm doing about a half a cup of nuts. That looks like a half of okay. nuts in here. Of, of, they're big. They're not chopped. What kind of nuts? These are walnuts, but you can okay. use pecans if you want it. Okay. And I have them in this plastic bag. And I'm going to smack them and take out any my of my pent-up rage. Take out your rage. Here she goes. Anger management, Corona kitchen there style. <laughs> that is anger management, Corona style. Okay, that looks good. That was a meat tenderizer, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just making sure. It's you got a whack-a-mole. Pan. It looks like whack-a-mole. Yeah. <laughs> I've used a frying pan before. I've used um, a hammer. <laughs> oh, yeah, all those things. Yeah, they, they all work. Now I'm, I'm mixing in the nuts into the butter and sugar. Now I've also done this with, um, instead of using brown sugar, I've used maple sugar, which I always have. And Ooh, I know not yeah. everybody could, so I, I didn't do it this time, but you could. Okay. And then I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of raisins. Those are like all my favorite things in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's true. Okay, so that's gonna sit there while I do the apples. Now, the apples, um, you could peel them if you want. I, I like the peel. So I'm gonna leave the peel on. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Okay. Come over and, sh and, and show, the, show the people. Show us. the people. Oh, magic camera. <laughs> Hi, dude. Yeah. I'm just going to cut around the core with a paring knife. Okay. Like, like this. this. But is I'm not such going... a fantastic close up. I'm excited. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And I'm well, not we never all... do it. <laughs> we don't do I'm it not often. going all the way to the bottom. And I'm kind of going in at a little bit of an angle. Okay. Because I want to try and pull this out. No. It just pop popped out. out. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my spoon. Oh. and take out any of the rest of the core and oh. i'm not going all the way to the bottom i'm just going to leave you know the bottom of the apple in place but i'm taking out the seeds and the core somebody's asking the apple it's granny smith yes it's a granny smith i think they make the best baked apples because they really kind of hold their shape and the okay. tartness okay. the tartness is good i made like a little pocket how cute isn't it? That's really cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's going to be in the, go in the compost. It's not going to go. Okay. okay. I like that you don't have to peel them, Debriana, because I feel like I spend my days in prison peeling apples. Oh, no. I hate peeling. I, you know what? All the vitamins are in the peel. Yeah. So I don't like, that's why I don't like um, peel. Like, I, I like to leave the skin on. I think yeah. in a baked apple, don't you think the skin holds, like, the juices and stuff? If you I do. don't have the skin, what would happen? Well, if you have the dumpling, you know, it will it would be fine in the, you know, the pastry crust. Right. But, um, yeah, I don't think it would. You, I think you need to leave it if you're just going to bake it. You right. know, okay. otherwise you have nothing to hold it together. Yeah. It would just be a big pile of mush. It's just pre-applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and the trick is with these, uh, with the pastry crust, you don't want to over-bake them because they could burst inside the Okay. Pastry. All right, so these, I'm just going to tuck these right here Your for Your cider's now. boiling. Yeah, I know. It's, That's what I, you want. I wanna, yeah, I do. I want to okay. reduce a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, you're right. It is. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> All right. So in the meantime, before I do the pastry crust, I'm going to take this okay. lovely stuff I made and shove it down in the apple. Oh, wow. 
Oh, this is cool. Yeah. That's a pretty um, dish you have there. Thank you. I got it when we got married. I think your mom gave it to us, right? Yeah, yeah she did. It's one of Michael Beautiful. Chiarella. Beautiful. Yeah, I really like it. Thank Beautiful you. pottery. Thanks. You might have a little bit left over. But see, if these were bigger apples, <laughs> I wouldn't have any of that left over. <laughs> so you're making enough for two. Yes. Now, okay. yeah. So now here's the deal. If you wanted to just bake them like this, Mm -hmm. You can put the a little bit of the, this in the bottom, cover this with foil and put it in the oven and just bake them like this. Okay. But, um, but I wanted to do the pie crust. Okay. Around. Yay. They're so Yay. cool. Pie crust. Yes, because they're cool. I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'm going to roll my pie crust out. Now, I could have made pie crust, as could you, if you want, but I'm not going to. I had some in the freezer. Oh, already oh, made of course i did <laughs> or from the store or already made yeah made? i got a, I, I have i had one already in in the freezer that was already made so i just okay. decided to use that okay i like the ones from trader joe's i mean if you don't want to make the crust just buy one it's always better if you make your own but hey it's a hack it's really okay we're not going to judge you if you buy it Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so I've had, had this out. See, this is Trader Joe's pie crust. Okay. And um, I, I thawed it out and uh, left it out a little bit um, before I came on the show. To, so it got to room temperature. So it's pliable. Okay. okay. So now I've got it on my board. And I'm going to roll it out into a circle. Yeah, because it looks like a half one. Yeah. You're going to make it smaller. Re yeah. Well, I'm going to roll it out a little bit. It's okay. probably more than I need, but we'll see. Because the apple is puny. <laughs> Have I said that yet? <laughs> we know your apples were puny at the co-op. Co-op, if you're listening. Get bigger apples. Uh, but they're, but they're nice organic ones. So there you go. Okay. So yeah, you always you want to get, you always want to get organic apples. Yeah. Cause if you don't, they spray them with some scary stuff. Really scary stuff. Where's my egg? Oh, here it is. All right. So I'm going to crack an egg into here, into this little bowl. That's going to be to close it up. Oh, wow. That's the glue. That's my glue. Yeah. <laughs> that's Corona Kitchen glue. <laughs> yeah, Corona Kitchen glue. Yeah, it'll work. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, oh, you're going to make a cute little thing right now. I am. <laughs> yeah. So this is oh, how wow. I kind of bring up the edges like this. Oh, wow. There. It's like a little pocket. Oh, isn't it? It's cute? like a cute little dumpling. Back of apple. <laughs> <laughs> now you could, if you want to get fancy, you could like wrap it up in a in a you know like folding it over like this, like a pie crust. But I'm going rustic. The old rustica. Yeah. And I'm just using the eggs to sort of paint it so that the edges all stay together. Make a pretty mm. thing. And where's my little can? Oh, here it is. And then I want to um, spray this a little on the bottom. It's like a apple bomb. <laughs> it is. It's an apple bomb. <laughs> I'm just using a little coconut spray on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to And no flour, on. just spray. Okay. Yeah, just right. And then I'm going to set my apple in there. How cute. Isn't it cute? Very cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it looks like when it gets out. Yeah, it's going to be cute. All right. Mm. And then here comes the next one. Get some flour. And see, this is super easy. I mean, like, 
and and it's such a beautiful um presentation when you if you're only having a couple people over it's kind of cooler than pie yeah and if it's just a couple because a lot of us will just be couples you know in america um not going anywhere or having anybody over it's so it's nice for two people yeah or one person because then you could have one for breakfast yeah they're <laughs> delicious i'm telling you they're so good with with um with yogurt but you, you know for for dessert you i was gonna say with pancakes <laughs> yeah david, <laughs> david's de definitely used them on pancakes before could you put ice cream with them well yeah i was just gonna say you could you the way to serve them and you know for dinner is i would um I would uh, either use like a whipped cream or mascarpone, mm. or you could use ice cream. You know what? What's your fancy? That's gonna be so good. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I want one right now. I'll bring you one. I gotta make dinner, and it's gonna be soup. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we love soup. We're a good soup. We're good soup people. All right. So yeah, you just want to make sure all the edges are closed down. Okay. And then paint it up with your egg, egg wash. That also makes it, you know, have a nice. Yeah, I was gonna say it makes it give a nice golden sheen. Yeah. So I have the oven on four hundred. Okay. And I'll cook these for about 30 to 40 minutes, I would say. At 400? Okay. okay. Yeah. And just kind of keep an eye on them. You want the crust to get golden and the apple to be soft. There goes the cider. There's the cider going in the wow. bottom. And that's my babies. They're going in. Gorgeous. Yeah. Pretty. <laughs> in you go. You're you're getting me all, you know, revved up for all the yummy desserts over the holidays to make. I yeah. just love making that kind of stuff. See, so, you now that was super fast. I did two. It, it would take you maybe ten minutes to do four. Ten more yeah. minutes to do four. Yeah. And, and they're such they're really pretty to serve as a dessert. Um, you know, for Thanksgiving, that's different than a pie, and it makes it a little more special. Although I do have a pie. My pie is a triple layer pie. I don't know if I told you this. Which one? Which pie? For thank I've had this for Thanksgiving every year of my adult life. <laughs> and I originally found the recipe on um, the train going from between New York and Connecticut on the Amtrak in an Amtrak magazine. And it sounded so cool. I've made it every year since, and I've perfected it along the way. Wow. So the bottom of the pie, I do it in a skillet, like a cast iron. And the bottom of the skillet, I um, caramelize pear and apple slices. And then I layer them um, around the edge and the bottom as if it's the crust, because it actually is. Ah. Um, and then I make a pot pumpkin pie filling whoa our cream um in the middle and then i make a topping that's um mimics a, a pecan pie oh pecan. my god and i put that on top so one slice of pie you get all three of your thanksgiving pies with no crust okay are you gonna make this on the show you have to make this i might have to it's so good another one that's good for dessert i mean for breakfast not just dessert. That sounds like heaven. <laughs> it's a great pie. And I've made it every year. I usually make two pies because I usually I have usually at least 15 people, but I'll do that. And then I change the other pie every year, whatever I feel like making some other. Wow. But, I think I'm going to make, I might make a lemon meringue pie. I have a pretty great lemon meringue mm, pie. That's crazy. I love lemon pie. Like the meringue that's like crazy high <laughs> baked alaska levels um that's fun you have more people <laughs> well 
My mom makes a pumpkin chiffon from the real pumpkin. Oh yeah, we pumpkin. grew up making those. Super good. Yeah, we had that was one of the things we made in in the home bakery. Pumpkin mm. chiffon pie that we That's sold. That's really to, good. We sold those too. And I love a good pie. love a good pecan pie. Mm -hmm. And I love chocolate pie too. Can be good. Yeah, I like I. There's one I make at Christmas that's a um, cranberry mascarpone middle, Ooh. and and the bottom is a, a famous cookies. You know that kind of cookie crust. Oh yum! It's, it's delicious. <laughs> Sometimes I make a cheesecake. We haven't yeah, made cheesecake on the show. Out. Yeah, cheesecake. A cheesecake. I make my um, stepfather Stan that he loves. I don't think he can eat it anymore after you know when you have heart problems, but, mm -hmm. um, it's really yeah, don't, don't make that and you bring it over and go, Oh, too bad. You can't I, know. <laughs> I did make it for years, but, um, but it, it, everybody should have a good cheesecake in their arsenal. In their repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's good. make all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Well, I'm glad you guys could hang out with us tonight. And, Oh, I have to tell you my, my t-shirt this is the writing in it. It's all writing. And this is her dissents. On what argument? Do you know? Don't know. It's like a, just a bunch of her dissents, I think. That's so awesome. Where Isn't did you cool? get it? Um, a company called Literary, I think. And they do books. Like, they do Withering Heights. They do um, Shakespeare stuff. It's it's a cool company. That's neat. I love yeah. that. Oh, what kind I of app? Brandy Smith. Yeah, Granny Smith. Mm -hmm. And then, so now I'm going to tell you guys, we have two Senate elections coming up. We must win you them. You thought the politics was over. It's not. It's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, Fairfight.com is Stacey Abrams' group. She's in Georgia. That's where those two races are. We must win them. We must. If you can Thank do you. whatever you can do, donate money, volunteer your time, whatever you can do. Yeah, we need all, all all hands on deck must be one. Must be one or we are messed up. <laughs> there will be no coronavirus uh, help. It, we won't get people approved as cabinet heads. So we, we need the Senate people. Very, very important. Thank you. We'll about just keep my talking pearls. about it every show. So just Is that Sprouty talking about my pearls? <laughs> She strung these for me. These are um, these are Biwa pearls from Lake Biwa that um, I think is now too polluted to get pearls from. And there are black diamonds in between that my friend. I was going to say from. that was a beautiful necklace. I thought you were doing like a whole RBG little situation yes, that's right, with, with my pearls. pearls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Well, people, here, let's see if I can get this right now. <laughs> yeah, it happened. It is. I did it. Right. Oh, look what shirt I'm wearing. Oh, let's see. Woo. I think I'm going to wear it for a year. <laughs> well, look, it's not showing. Oh, well. <laughs> oh well, what? We're the show with our t-shirts. <laughs> I know, right? We'll end it. Stop it. Oh, where is it? There it goes. Cray -cray. The credits, the credits. <laughs> I don't know what credit I have in there, but They're it's not stuck. it's not good. I'm I'm not just not good at this. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to YouTube, subscribe, wear a mask. <laughs>